What's going on guys, my name is Jay, and in this video I want to show you how you can code fast using Emmet. I'm going to show you at the end of the video where you can get it, but let's cut to the chase, alright? So let's say that we want to create a div with a class of whatever you want, like container let's say. So I'm just going to write dot container, right? Oops. There you go dot container and all I'm gonna do is press the tab button on your keyboard and there you go you have a diff with a class of container that's the power of Emmet okay let's try something else let's say I want a container and inside that container I want another diff so I'm gonna write this symbol this is like greater than a uh, symbol and I'm gonna do the same thing. Um, let's say I want, an, I don't know, a div with a class of element. I'm gonna press tab, and here you have it. You have a div with a class of container, and inside that container you have another div with a class of element. Awesome, all right? Let's do something else more, a little bit more complex. So I'm gonna create a list, and first it's gonna be a an order list, right? Then inside, I'm gonna have, let's say like four list items. So I wanna multiply this by four and I'm gonna press tab. Look at this, amazing, right? All right, let's do something else with the same list. I want to have a class of item on every list and multiply by four and now you have it. But here's the thing, this is repeating the same class, so let's add a unique class to each of one of those items. How do I do it? I'm gonna add a dollar sign after the item. This is gonna add a number to each item, and you're gonna see how it's gonna look. By four, press tab, look at this. Now class item one, item two, item three. Now we have unique classes for each LI. Now, I wanna do the same thing, kind of the same thing, but inside here so we can add some text. All right, so let's go back. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna add curly brackets. Inside this curly bracket, I'm gonna do the same thing. It can be whatever you want, like a text. You know, let's add text dollar sign close it tab look at this look at this beauty let's go a little bit more complicated i want to build a whole layout now in one line a whole layout of a website i want a header i want a container inside that container i want a div and then after the div i want a footer actually let's add a header and then a navigation and then the container and then the footer so it's a whole website so we can start by header. So it's gonna be like a header, a header tag. Now I'm gonna use a plus because I want another, I don't want something inside the header. The header is just one whole thing. And then after the header, I wanna add something else. So we can go here and group with parentheses. This is our nav. Parentheses are grouping something. So if you want to have after your after something, you want to have a group of a lot of things. You can do it like this. So I'm here. I'm gonna have my nav, and then inside the nav, we're gonna have the ul, and inside this ul, we're gonna have the li by five or four or whatever. Let's say four. And remember. This can be very complicated. We can add um, a class of item, item to each one with a number and we can add text inside. So it can get complicated. So let's just leave it like this. All right, and then after my nav is done, I'm gonna add another group. This is gonna be my container. Inside this container is gonna be another class of element or whatever you want. And then after that, I'm gonna have my footer. And let's see what happens. Look at this. 
All right, we have the header. Then after the header, we have a nav with the UL, with the LI, with those classes. Then the UL, the nav, and then after the nav, we have a container with another div inside. And then after this, we have the footer. So you can see we have the whole layout, sorry, with one line. You can see it here. One line of code. And it creates the whole layout. So this is what I use. I'm going to post a link on the description. You can see here. You can use Emmet in, I think, almost every single um, code editor out there. You can see the list here. And even if you want to use an online service like CodePen, JSBin, JSFiddle, they have Emmet. So you can actually go there and practice right now if you want to. All right. And um, yeah, that's it. Subscribe if you want to keep learning and click on the bell icon to receive notifications every time I upload a new video. Thank you so much for watching. Have a beautiful day. Bye bye.